Back in October 2020, Ludum Dare 47 happened and I wanted to join. I've heard of Ludum Dare before, it being one of the biggest game jams ever, and I wanted to join. The theme was Stuck in a Loop, which is an absolutely terrible theme. Like, are you gonna make a roller coaster game or just a train game? So, yes, I didn't like it at all and was struggling to find an idea. I then looked at the list of my old ideas and found one of them that could thematically fit it. It was a game where each enemy is a different version of yourself, someone who took a different path. Should be you with a sword, or you with a hammer, or a buff you, or a skinny you. And it can be interpreted as them being versions of you, so they're stuck in a loop, not changing, just being you. And so I went with it. Because I never learned, like my first game jam game, I wanted it to be a 3D souls like, but this time not an RPG. This time instead of building my own, I found a half complete project of a souls like, and I modified it. It had the basic movement, dodging, attacking, and all consistent, so I didn't have to make those, and they were pretty smooth in the game. I just added more animations, sound effects, conditions for the weapons and attacking, and a poise system. After doing the basic gameplay, I thought of the theme. I wanted it to be about the sad man, the one who gives dreams, and you would be someone who entered the temple because of your dead wife wanting to resurrect her, and in the temple, you find the Sandman himself and other versions of you that you must fight. And whenever you pick a new weapon, these versions change. So some of them might have the new weapon and some don't. I decided that there would be four types of enemies. The zombies, which don't use any weapons and are very slow. The balanced, which can use any weapon and have basically the same stats as you. The fasties, much faster than you but weaker. And the slowies, which are the opposite and a boss who is a sad man version of you, just a larger version with sand going all over him. As for the weapons, there were three of them, a short sword, a long sword, and an axe. The fast seas would mostly use the normal sword, the slow is the axe, and the balanced can use any one of them. And the boss would use an axe. Each enemy can decide on weapon randomly, and every time you respawn, the enemies change slightly. So after that, I blocked out the main level, and added some sand textures to the walls. And then I scattered the enemies all around. As for the objective of the game, there will be three magical gems, you need to collect two of them in order to fight the boss. So after scattering the gems, adding some bonfires, and some sound effects that I made using my voice, I playtested the game and it was quite fun, much better than the first one, although a bit on the difficult side, but still fun. There were some bugs here and there, especially with the sound effects, some enemies accidentally climbing on the walls, but I was rushing slightly, so I didn't fix them. After defeating the boss, you'd have three choices for multiple endings. Either kill yourself, become the new Sandman, or revive your wife. Each of them being a bit bittersweet. After that, I added some tutorial text, recorded some voice lines for the Sandman, Jonas, who is the main character, and then I created a main menu to allow you to play, reload, change the settings, and so on. I also wanted the main menu to be more interesting. So I made it so that every time you click, a sand waterfall would spawn, just to make it a bit more interesting and fun. I also added a lot more decoration in the level, reduced the lighting, added more sand, and after all of that, I created a poster for the game, made some GIFs, made the game page on itch and on Ludendare, and uploaded it. Overall, it got very decent reviews. A lot of people enjoyed the atmosphere with all the sand, the muffled noises, and so on, but a lot complained about the controls being clunky, especially on mouse. Which is definitely my fault, I should have paid more attention to making them smoother. But you live and you learn. Overall, it got the rank of 1192, which is not terrible for a jam with thousands and thousands of games. And the category where it got the highest rank is the mood category, where it got a rank of 486, which I was very proud of. Overall, I learned a lot from this experience, it reminded me a lot of my first Game Jam game, but much, much better. And I feel that I learned a lot. And thank you for watching.